Welcome back everybody to another fun-filled addition to the AM Homestead unboxing here of something that's going to be a game changer for our homestead, not only for the present time, but also for the future. So we got some goodies in here. So what we got. Let's see. We got our tester right there. It's nice. I've been wanting to get one of those for a while. Let's see what else we got here. It's the instructions for it. These are the cables to hook up. One's for ground, one is for the Lightning of Zeus. Okay, let's see what this is. This is your charger that you can charge up your battery with. It's really, really handy. So, if you, like, uh, your red light comes on, Whenever you turn it on, if your red light is flashing, you can just, you can, you can charge it up. So that's, that's really handy. Here we go. So as you can tell, this, this right here is the solar panel right here. This is a 10 watt solar panel. Okay, so we have got our degrees right here. It has a 36. Looks like a 43, a 50, and a 60. Now you can adjust, you can adjust the solar, solar panel here. You can adjust it any way you want to capture all the sunlight as possible. Okay, right here it tells you the, de the degrees of the battery test on there. Um, all green means the battery is fully charged. Then if you have, um, green and red, that means your battery is half charged. So you need to, you need to plug in your adapter, this thing. You need to plug that in to charge it. So then if it's red, that means the battery's dead. So it is by Premier One and to Intel Shock 60. We like the 60. It covers three to five nets. And you've seen the nets that I have with the chickens. So um, it could cover three to five of those nets, and those nets are 164 feet apiece. So that's kind of like what our thinking was, is we just get another one, just like the other 60 that we have. I'm happy with it. These things, I don't know, they got some weight to them. They're 19 pounds, so they do have some weight to them, but they're very well made. So what I'm going to do now is open, open this up and I'll show you because there's some other goodies in here I need to show you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn this now. And I already already squeezed this together right here. I already squeezed that so that way that will just open up. All right, so this is our 12 volt battery right here. It's re this battery is rechargeable. They already have the positive side already hooked up already. So what they did is they have the, the, they have the negative right here, but it's taped up. So the thing I do is take the tape off and they have a plastic protector on it. You just take that off and hook it together. So. And also that comes with a ground rod. That's a ground rod for it. Let me show you how to how to do put that in. You're gonna put your ground rod in. What you want to do is you want to put it on its side. There's a groove right there, and you just want to slide that all the way down in there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to attach. Let's see if I can get you in a little bit closer. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach, see how loose that is, that needs to be hooked up. So we're going to attach that and the thing will be good to go. So 
get that taken care of. Now, I remind you, it is a 12 volt, so it is it is going to have some power to it, and I promise that. I've been shocked by these things. Uh, they won't you won't wet your pants, but um, you'll know what's there. So um, let's take this. And we'll just slide that right up in there. Come on, get up in there. Okay, so I got that connected. Looks just like the positive. That's negative. Has negative here, positive there. Got red. It's got a red, sorry. I was looking at what I was doing inside the camera. Okay, so. They do have it color coded. So they do have red mark for positive, which is when it comes shipped to you, they already have the positive put on. Then, then they color code it red, like I said, right there. Then they also have the negative side, which is color coded, which is it's right here. The only thing I do is just put that on. So other than that, it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. So the only thing you do to close it up is close it. <laughs> nice and easy. And then you'll push it down and it'll snap into place. There we go. And okay, now we're gonna hook up our ground and our positive. So. And you will need like a pair of pliers or if you wanna do it the right way, uh, get a socket and you need to unscrew these this one and the other one on the other side because you need to replace those with these. They'll tighten down. So I'll show you that here in a second. As you take this off, and there's actually there's actually a hole that they drilled in. I don't know if I can get you guys in there or not. Let's find out. Right there, there's a hole drilled right there. If you could see it, I don't know if you can or not. There's a hole drilled all the way through this stud right here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your wire and you're just gonna run it right through there. You're gonna run it right through that stud like this. Then you're going to take your cap and screw it all the way down onto it. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I'll just take my cable. Run that right through there. Hopefully you can see on the camera how it went right through. You just take that and you just screw it down. Just hand tighten it, that's all you need. You don't need to get a pair of pliers out and crank it down. Cause then you'll break this, that's what happened. I broke mine so I had to re-splice it and all that. Strip it back out and do it again. So we'll just do the same to the other side. On the negative side, I'll slide that one in there. That one has a hole in it too, also. So I'll just slide it right in, and it'll look like that. So put that in there. And this little cutout right here is for your wire to sit in after you screw it in there. So. Just hand tighten it. There you go. So now that we got our Intel Shock 60 all set up, um, I'm going to turn it on and see if it needs to be charged. So we'll, the battery light indicator will let us know. And if it is blinking all green on it, then me personally, I would probably just go and start using it. The sunlight, if we got good sunlight, the sunlight will charge it up. And but if you feel comfortable with charging it, go ahead and just plug it in. You know, use, use your plug-in adapter, plug it in, and wait for it to fully charge. So, if you wanna do that, you can, but I found really good success with mine. I never charged mine up. I have never charged it up a single time. So, um, Jazz Premier One was shocked about that. I talked to the lady, she was shocked about it. So, uh, we'll turn it on and see what we got. Okay, so we have all our connections made. We have those made, they're in the right spots. And this is positive, that's negative. So now let's turn it on and see what we got. Let's 
to that bright green light, it is good to go. So that is awesome. So now that we got the test going, it's good. So the only thing we gotta do now is I need to get the rest of the way ready and uh, we can go out and set up the charger on the fence. I'll have to clean the fence off, it may take a while. So I may just bring you over there whenever I actually hook it up so you're not watching me clean all the leaves out of the fancy. So I'll just see you here in a bit. Okay, we are outside now. Yeah, I got got majority of all the leaves off of the off the fencing. So we'll go ahead and I'll just take you on over here. We'll get all set up and get it turned on. We'll see how hard it's hitting. good today okay so what I did was I'm just using a uh, rebar grounding rod for a grounding rod and I went ahead and I grinded on this for a little bit got it nice and uh, cleaned up best I could and so I'm gonna use that as a grounding rod I drove it in about a foot and a half and that should be plenty so I'm gonna get this set up I'll set you guys up so you can see real good This is gonna be for our ground right here. What I like to do is once I get that on there, I like to turn it. That way it just connects real good. Then you just take your positive side, hook it on here. Right. See how flat my solar panel is I need to adjust that up just a little bit so what you do is you just loosen these up I ain't gonna go too far I just go to 60 that's all I'm gonna need it's because of the, the sun and how low it is in the winter time so we got that push the button Got a good solid green light, so chickens ain't gonna like it if it hits them. All right, let's see what we got. We are at 2,500. That's not very good. Should be hitting around about 8,000. It must be still grounding out somewhere. Still. Okay, so I'm gonna have to investigate and then I'll just give you an update and see what I can find. I hope you guys found this very informative. It's really, really, really easy to do. It's something anybody can do. I just you know it's working if you touch the fence and you get shocked so um i just want to thank everybody for showing up make sure you put thumbs up i just want to know if, what you all think about this video did you find it informative was it boring but uh just let me know and if you like these i may i may throw one in here or there when i'm not busy with maple season so just let me know if you liked it put a thumbs up share subscribe to all your platforms and until next time, everybody, God bless. Love you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.